morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I am extremely tired. Whew. And it is pajama day today, so I am wearing pajamas, which is a good thing. But after school today, I have so many errands to run that I'm just gonna be in my pajamas running errands all day. I have a meeting after school, and I have to go to the bank and two grocery stores, so it's very busy today. We're gonna have a good day. This is the face of a tired, tired teacher. Oh, today was rough. Let me just show you what we did today because I have so much stuff to do after school today. All right, so today we did grasp the gist. <sighs> Hey you guys, just like that, it is Thursday. Let me just catch up with you guys with what has been happening. So Monday, it was not a good day. I was not a happy teacher that day. I wasn't happy because my kids were terrible for the sub and I have subbed and I know what it feels like to be a sub and I know what it feels like to not want to sub or I know what it feels like to have a terrible class. So I just wasn't in the best mood. <sighs> that was Monday and I felt like I was getting sick. Tuesday rolls around and you know, it was a little better. I was just sick and burnt out. So then I'm like, I have to take a sub day. Um, my fiance and I had like discussion about sub days and I just try to tell him, he's like, oh, just take a sick day, take a sick day. I'm like, it's not that easy. I can't just take a sick day whenever I want. I need to make sub plans and it makes me even more reluctant to take a sub day when I'm out for a training and my kids are so bad for the sub. It just makes me uncomfortable. I took a sick day Wednesday and it was magic. I felt so much better. I felt so much better yesterday. And then I come back today and I'm, I think I'm burnt. I think I'm burnt out. We have two more weeks until spring break. I know a lot of the behavioral issues are because I wasn't strict enough in the beginning. I learned now I'm just burnt out. I'm just burnt out. And I'm just trying to get myself to feel better. So today after work, maybe I'll go shopping at Ross or something, but I'm just like, not really in the mood to do anything. Okay, I've ranted enough. I don't want this to be perceived as negative, but I'm just being very honest with my feelings. And I think everyone who's in the teaching profession feels like at one time or another, they feel like I could be doing something so much easier than this. I'm just burnt out. This is me burnt out. Hello, I'm burnt out. Let me show you my outfit real quick because I'm really happy about it. Actually it made my day better. And let me show you what we were doing these past couple days. So this is what I'm wearing, a pair of white jeans, my leopard belt, uh, this shirt my best friend made me. It says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love this shirt, it's so pretty and it fits so nicely. And then I am wearing these shoes. These shoes I got at Marshalls, I think they're $20 but I love them so much. Here's Grasp the Gist. Now I made this over the weekend and I was really excited to incorporate it. So here is Grasp the Gist and this is in my TPT store and it's just, they're reading through and they're answering these questions. They're going to be explaining the theme of the story here because theme is still kind of tough. They active read, reading through the text, answering these questions and then they're going to summarize using at least two of these elements. By the time you watch this, I'm going to have another version on TPT. It's gonna be in the same pack, but I'm going to, um, instead of the five W's and the H, I'm going to fill out SWBST for somebody wanted, but so then. And if you aren't familiar with that, I think it's uh, very common for summaries. That's what I learned how to summarize with in third grade to my third graders. So um, yeah, so that's there. If you guys want it, it's in my TPT store. I'm gonna leave and try to fill my bucket. I don't wanna be negative, like I love my job and I know, I'm sure it's gonna get better. Um, all right, you guys, I will catch you guys in my next video or I will catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, it should be a better day. Hi guys. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but it has been a day. And it hasn't been a day, you know, my kids were actually really good for me today because they heard my voice and they're just like, okay, and. You know, I told them if they don't get their work done or if they have to, if I have to talk to them once today, like we're in Fe March 
if I have to talk to them at all, they're not having fun Friday. And that helps so much. I only had to send one student out for Fun Friday, like no Fun Friday. By the way, look at this shirt my team teacher made me, Think Four. There's four of us in fifth grade, so that's where that comes from. Now, let me just give you a little background knowledge on my life right now. First time dealing with an insurance company. We are not getting covered by our home insurance, which is AAA, by the way. And I am sickened that my brother and I have to pay. I had to deal with that all day while teaching because it's like a mad dash to get it fixed, it's it's such a, we haven't had hot, hot water in like four days. And on top of that, I was sick. It's been a mission, but you know what? Let's just count our blessings, it could be a lot worse. I am just so sickened we have to pay instead of our thousand dollar deductible. And we just moved in. Well, lesson learned, right? It won't be the first time, or it won't be the last time, so yeah. Anyways, um, my voice is about ready to be done. Thank gosh it's Friday. I've literally just been talking to everyone nonstop. I've been talking to um, their insurance companies for the past two days. I've been talking to the water people for the past two days. It has been insane. I'm sure you guys don't care to know that, but I just feel like ranting. And I'm doing super Saturday tomorrow. I'm doing like Saturday school tomorrow for extra pay. I got loans to pay off. I'm no more in grace period too. I'm paying a significantly high amount of student loan amount a month for the next six years. So I'll be doing some extra side hustles. I'm even gonna be doing summer school to help pay off my student loans. At least I have that option, right? Um, at my old site, at my old district, there was no Saturday school, there was no summer school I could, you know, do extra pay for. So I'm very happy and grateful for the privileges of this district, what they offer in terms of extra pay. You guys, it was a good day, but I am just, Absolutely flabbergasted. I am paying all that money and we're getting our counters done Which was five thousand dollars. So <laughs> great great. Okay. We didn't really do much actually today what we did is in Google Classroom, I put on story time online for the students to watch books on. And we did that for like 30, 40 minutes. And they loved it. It was so quiet. They were so in, like engaged. So that was really fun. We took a math test and then they just finished unfinished work. Like I showed previously, I have created the just the gist and that has helped students really a lot with theme. I thought that was a really good idea. So if you want that, it's down in the description box of my TPT store. I think I'm gonna be done talking soon. Okay, here's the gist. Let me grasp the gist of this vlog. If you are a new teacher, if you are a seasoned teacher, if you are a veteran teacher, I think we all can agree that we all have questioned our career choice, but I don't want that to be viewed on as negative because yes, I have questioned my career choice. I know I'm not the only person who has. However, you know, you reflect and you reflect on your good day and you just think, okay, it's not that bad or this work is so important. That's why it's so hard. This job is so important. That is why it is so difficult. So if you are thinking that you changed your career choice, think about what else or think about how important your job is and yes, it's hard and especially if you're in the beginning of your career, but it does get better. I feel so much better this year than I do my first year and it's just gonna keep going up I feel and I hope so don't let that be a bad thing let's talk about it it's not a bad thing it's just you're self reflecting and you're thinking about it but then you you know look on the bright side and you're just like this work is so important that's why it's so hard and I think it goes back to not things worth having and things worth achieving do not come easy they come hard and they come they come with a lot of grit. To end this video, I will say I am proud that I am a teacher. I am proud that I'm an educator. I am proud that I question my career choice, but then continue to show up for work and continue to put in the work and the time, even though this isn't easy. And I hear it all the day, all the time. You must be a saint. You must be a saint to be a teacher. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. I love my job, it's hard. But at the end of the day, when I reflect, would I really want to be doing something else? No. And believe it or not, I know it may not seem like it, but you truly leave impact on every single person in your classroom. So I'll just leave it there. <laughs> let me drop it right there and I'll let you.
digest that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have two more weeks until spring break. I'm so excited just trying to get to spring break. However, I'm a little nervous because after spring break, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be absolutely insane after spring break trying to teach fifth graders. So uh, we will see how that goes. Again, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I am going to be starting the teacher chat with me once a month. I'm going to pull questions directly from my YouTube channel and Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it is right here. Again, any type of question I'm going to be answering in the teacher chat. I'm so excited. I feel like it's gonna be like a uh, talk show kind of style. Like that's what I like, I'm s I don't know, I'm excited. All right you guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next week's vlog, bye.